everybody just paints the way that they should paint. I don't think that there's a specific right or wrong way to paint. very much an artist. My mother said that when I was born, I had the hands of an artist. She's like, you were very pretty, but you had the most beautiful hands. But my mother, I think, is actually where I get my talent from, because the very first thing I remember is my mother taught me how to draw a husky, a sled. You know, it was a couple of huskies pulling a sled, and then a betta fish. I'll, I'll never forget that. I think that was like my first memory of seeing somebody else drawing something in front of me. I didn't actually start calling myself an artist until much later. I discovered that I loved to paint and when my painting career happened, I think that's when I actually began to call myself an artist. seven books now. Eight and nine coming up. I think I, I, I'm changing also how I define myself as a, an artist and author. My instructional books, my how-to books, they are um, meant to help other artists because I remember going through college and high school it was more focused on techniques versus style and so much of what makes us an artist is our like our creativity, it's like, but where do you, where do you get that? And, and how, how do you paint? They want to learn how to find their own voice. So I think that's why a lot of my books, oh, all of my books actually are very personal. They're meant to be a conversation. They're meant for me to just sit there and help other artists understand who they are and what they want to produce. My fiction books, I love adventures. I love telling stories about taking a character from one point and then transforming them to the end of their journey. The stories I want to tell really are about pushing a person beyond the brain, beyond what they can actually think that they're capable of because I want to tell stories about inner strength and overcoming hurdles. I want my characters to be inspiring. I want people to see them going through these difficulties and coming through it, not the same person, but stronger. Part of my art practice is to create products and to create merchandise. And over the years, I've made pillows, and I've made clothing, I've made coasters, and I've made, I mean, I've made a lot of stuff. When I produce my art for galleries, I'm very, focused on telling individual stories and bringing a lot of emotions into these one, these singular paintings that will inspire people and it shows a very profound version of myself. When I go to a Comic Con, oh man, people really don't expect me to be so nerdy. I have fun and I get to show people my um, clothing, my merchandise, and my prints, but one of the most amazing things for me, and this is why I do so many of them, is that I get to meet the people who buy my art. I want to go and I want to talk to people and I want to, I want to hear the stories and I want to see people and just like have a laugh or have a cry. I have another kind of fan or supporter that they actually are really moved by my work. It's amazing. I can't, the, the feeling is there's no words.